Hey guys, it's May May, and tonight I'm bringing to you my design team's first ever challenge. And this is um, not our linky parties we do on Wednesday. This is one we'll do every other Monday. And this will be a challenge. We're going to actually, instead of giving you a theme, we're going to give you a challenge of some sort. And this week, I don't know if you've ever seen the projects called Tic Tac Toe Challenge where there's a tic-tac-toe board and you kind of make a line and whatever lands in your line is what you use. Well, I want to try something a little bit different. And this is called the Connect Four Challenge. Now, I, cut, I printed this out and cut it out so I could show you tonight, but what you'll do is you'll go to my blog and there'll be a picture of this on the blog. and all, Or you can just freeze the video and look at the video. But all you do is you pick where you want your line to go. And I want to show you how your line should go. And I'm going to mess this one up, but it's all right. Your line can go any direction as long as everything touches in a line. So let me show you what I wanted to do. I found the things I wanted, but I had to make sure they touched. So I wanted happy, and I wanted sunglasses, and I wanted ribbon, and then I wanted flowers. So all of my squares touch. So you have to have four that touch. Let's, and that's what I'm doing. But let's say you wanted to do summer umbrella, yellow, and happy. All of those touch, so you'd be fine. You could do that too. So just look on the um, blog, pick out what four you want to do. And the reason I'm doing four, it's, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I do a lot of things in threes and fives and odd numbers. So this one I wanted to do in fours to kind of give you another challenge. So let's get started. So I'm going to make a card for my project, and I'm going to use a piece of um, Nina Solar White cardstock. This is going to be an A2 size. However, I'm cutting it to where it will be a um, portrait card. So it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to score this one at five and a half and make it a portrait style card. Just to do something a little bit different today. And again, this is some um, Nina Solar White cardstock. You can use whatever you have. Increase it really good. All right, so there's our base. Now, really simple. I wanted to do some cute little mats on this card because I'm using some black and some bright colors. So I thought it'd be cute to start with a black mat. So I'm going to put this mat on first. And this is just your typical base mat for your cards. No biggie, nothing special. So there's my base mat. And I also did a couple of little things to make my background. And what I did with this one, this is, by the way, this is paper that I got from Michaels when they had their three for 10. No, 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 five for 10 on the daily deal. I got like so much paper to load up with. So I got this so I could use it with my teddy bear parade cartridge because I just think that you need all those base colors. This one is a green color, doesn't have a name, but I, if you can see, I cuddle bugged it with one of my little flower bouquet um, cuddle bug folders, but I didn't cut, I didn't do it all the way down. I left a blank here for a cent. So I have my adhesive on the back. And before I put this on my card, I want to put some ribbon on, but I have this other element. I really should have done this first, but we'll just do it really quick. It won't be a big deal. I want to put this little yellow strip down here. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on it. And this strip is cut at one inch so that it can fill this bottom portion here. And then I'm going to trim it to make sure that it matches the base. Again, I probably should have done this before I put the adhesive on the back, but I forgot I was doing it. Don't we do that sometimes? I do. Okay, so there's that. And now I want to put our ribbon on. I have this ribbon from something I got from TJ Maxx a while back, and I like these colors, and it's really what helped me design the um, focal piece that's going on here. So what I'm going to do is bring this ribbon around the front, and I want it, it kind of looks clowny, but this is what I thought would be cute for the happy portion of my card. I want it to run along that line, just kind of splitting it. So I'm going to put one end down first. Then, I'm going to lay the card down and stick the other side down. Now, this extra is in case I want to make a bow. I don't know that I'm going to because I've got a plan, so we'll see if I want to or not. So, then we just take this piece, 
and I'm going to stick it down. I love these bright colors on a black mat. I think it's the 80s kid in me that does that, but you know, that was the thing back in the day. Now then, I use my teddy bear parade, and I wanna show you the little guy I made, and there's a couple of tips I have for you. Here he is, he's the tourist. I'm gonna hold him up like this, and I'm gonna tell you about him in just a second. But I also wanna show you that if you don't have the teddy bear parade, parade cartridge, I went to Michael's the other day and I was looking for something to use with it. This little guy was on clearance for 99 cents, and he's really cute, he's all blingy. And look, he's just about the same size, and if you wanted to use like, um, any stamp set but if you have one like this one like I did that's all bear sentiments and stuff you can still do it even if you don't have one of the bear cartridges just look for stuff like this or bear paper or you can even make bears out of paper punches it's all over YouTube so you'll be able to see how to do that but here's what I did to him because one of my design team members um, Andy Berry and she is Andy Berry cards I think she's linked in the description so one of my design team members used some enamel accents on her bear and i thought it was the cutest thing you see the sparkles on the sunglasses okay i picked sunglasses because i'd seen this guy with the sunglasses but i could not find enamel accents i looked everywhere and then i remembered again from the 80s are y'all ready for this i remembered this stuff the tulip slick paint i know you guys remember this from when we used to do sweatshirts and stuff with the flowers and junk on them it does the same thing. It's a dimensional fabric paint, but I read on the package and you can put it on paper. That's what I wanted to make sure to make sure it wouldn't be too wet. So I just put this on for his sunglasses and it was cheap. Let me show you. I got it for about $6, but look how much I got. I got the black and all these other colors. So that's really worth it, right? I think so. And I didn't have to buy the enamel accents. So that's what I use for that. And then for around his sunglasses to get the little blingy look, that's just stickles, the little glittery look. So there's my little tourist guy. And I also want to show you that if you don't have, you know, a way to make flowers of your own, these were at Michael's. And these were kind of my inspiration today. So I'm going to use three colors of those. And they're just from the little cheapo dollar or whatever section. So let's put this dude on. I'm using some of my bigger sticky do's. And I always cut my bears at three or three and a half inches, depending on if I want him to fill up the card or just be on the card. And this guy, I kind of wanted to fill up the card. I'm sorry, just, this guy just kind of wanted to be on the card, so I did not cut him. I cut him at three inches instead of three and a half inches. So, let's peel off the backer. I'm trying to be careful not to touch his glasses because I'm not sure they're completely dry. I did them a while ago, but I don't know how long it takes that product to dry. So we're just gonna put him on the card. And I think I'm gonna put him kind of centered. He is adorable. I just love this cartridge. If you guys don't have it, it's one you definitely should think about getting. Then I wanna put these flowers somewhere like this. That's exactly what I'm thinking. But I wanna put them on a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna put this little guy flat down. I don't wanna put him on any dimension. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Tombow and squirt it on the back. Just a little bead of it. And stick him about right there. There we go. Now these guys I wanna pop up a little bit so there'll be a little gap between them. And I'm gonna see if I need one piece or two pieces of this. Let me see if one piece is enough. Yep, one piece is gonna do it. Okay. Now I'm definitely gonna put the blue one down here because of the yellow paper. I'm gonna put the yellow one on the blue paper. Don't those kind of look like hibiscus? I thought they did. You know the Hawaiian flower they make lays out of? I'm gonna kind of wrap them. I really like this red flower in the middle. There we go. And now he just needs a sentiment. Now. When I made Berry Sentimental, my husband came up with one of the sentiments, and Miss Judy Ashmore used it on her video, and it's the one that says barefooting, or I'm sorry, barefooting. I gotta say it Southern. It's barefooting, right here in the corner. And I just thought this is cute because he's barefoot, and he's kind of in Hawaii looking, and I just don't really think he would be wearing shoes unless they were flip-flops. So we're gonna say he's barefooting, and I'm gonna put it right here in this bottom corner because I just think it would be cute. 
and I should have not put that one down yet, so I'm gonna move it out of the way and bring it back. Let me ink it just in case. And he is barefoot. He's so cute. Now let's put this guy back. I should have thought about that before I did it. But anyway, there you go. So this is my challenge, and let me show you what I did. I did happy, which I just think the colors are so happy. I did sunglasses, which is this. I did ribbon right here, and then I did flowers right here. So there's my four items for the challenge. Now, if you will enter a card in our challenge, all you do is make a card and either send it to us at maymaymadeit.com. You do that through either our contact page, or you can actually send it to me, which is maymay at maymaymadeit.com. You can email it to me that way, or you can um, do a video response to this video and you'll be entered into our challenge. And this time on our challenge, I'll be giving away the May May Made It stamp set, very sentimental that has 17 sentiments. And I'm also gonna throw in a Mr. Big Ears, which was my first one I ever did. Um, I only had about a few of these left and I thought I would throw these in for people who might like them and you could have both of my sets that I have made. So, um, go ahead and join the challenge and if you just want to look at the stamps you can just find them from a link on my website or I'll link it below for you and you can pick these up if you'd like but there he is barefooting all right guys y'all have a great one join the challenge see you soon bye-bye